the world's most active volcano erupted again today, marking the fifth episode since it began in December. Scientists said the latest activity began at Kaluapele with a small fountain just before 3 p.m. local time, with lava flow beginning a few minutes later. According to the latest update provided by the U.S. Geological Survey, current eruptive activity includes a small dome fountain 16 to 33 feet high that is sending short lava flows from the north vent. Officials said there are currently no signs of activity at the south vent. Earthquake activity increased around 3 p.m. local time, the same time the effusion began. Officials said the tilt meter at Uekahuna continues to record inflation beneath Halemaumau, but is expected to switch to deflation as the eruption continues. Scientists said each episode of lava flow since the initial eruption began on December 23, 2024, has lasted between 14 hours and 8 days, with eruptive episodes separated by pauses lasting anywhere from less than 24 hours to 12 days. According to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, Eruptions within Kalauia's summit caldera, known as Kalua Pele, resumed around 2.57 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time on January 22, after a brief lull that began on January 18. The current eruption is characterized by a small dome fountain 16 to 33 feet high that is sending short lava flows from the north vent, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported. The fountain came after an initial small splash fountain was observed, which was soon followed by lava flows. Seismic activity has increased along with the lava flow as recorded by Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists. The Wekahuna tilt meter, which measures ground deformation, has recorded inflation beneath the Halema Umau crater, which is expected to change to deflation as the eruption progresses. While the north vent is showing significant activity, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that there are no signs of activity at the south vent. The volcano's alert level remains at watch, with the aviation color code orange indicating an increased risk of eruption. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says all volcanic activity is currently contained within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, with no changes detected in Kailawia's East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. Despite the containment, officials warn of potential hazards, including high levels of volcanic gases, particularly water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide. Such emissions can create VOG, or volcanic smog, which can affect air quality downwind. Another hazard is Pele's hair, fine strands of volcanic glass that can be carried by the wind. Pele's hair can sometimes clump and tangle on the ground, giving it a weed-like appearance. Additional hazards include volcanic debris from lava fountains that may fall within a few hundred meters of the erupting vent, which can be carried further 
by strong winds. Park officials advise visitors and residents to minimize exposure to volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation. The area around the Halema Uma'u crater remains closed to the public due to the potential for instability and rockfalls.